Welcome to V8 DXP. This is the 2019 Volvo XC40. This is the T5 level with the R design and this is the all-wheel drive version. Let's find out what the car has to offer and look at some of the external quirks and features and let's explore what Volvo has done to this car. First off, you've got this beautiful big grille. Big grills are sort of coming into fashion in terms of cars these days, especially when it's these SUVs or these crossovers and obviously Volvo has that big grille element that comes in over here. You've got a full set of LED headlights over here, your low beams, your high beams, including the fog lights, which is also LED. And you've also got obviously these big black and blue elements that go all around. You've got these parking sensors over here, you've got your tow hook. You've got your front camera over here for the 360 camera and big, big, big Volvo logo that comes in over there. And the reason why I have the hood open is to sort of show you where the Volvo has put in its fun elements and the quirks and features in this car. Now, if you see this line over here, it goes all the way to this point. And there's a yellow tab that's over here. So if you're trying to open the hood of an XC40, it's not over here, it's on the side. And the way the Volvo has designed it is, you see this line that comes up all the way over here? There's a yellow tab right on that. Top that, and you've got the hydraulic support that opens up a fairly big hood, if, if I might. Now this is powered by the two liter turbocharged, which produces 248 horsepower. Given the size of the vehicle and given the way that it handles, that's a lot of power. Because of the turbo, you get a lot of oomph, and during city driving, it's your perfect place to be. Uh, one of the things that I noticed of is that the engine cover is not plastic, it's a foam material. I don't know why Volvo has done that. Uh, could be because of the insulation and uh, the heat resistance and whatnot, but the engine cover is foam. Hmm, interesting. Moving on to the back of the car, you've got this beautiful design 3D uh, tail lamps that sit over here. They take off, they take up nice amount of width, nice amount of height at the back of the car. Uh, you've got this big Volvo embossed uh, logo over there. Uh, this is the two liter, but then you've got your twin exhausts down over there that gives it a very meaty and a punchy feel. Uh, sort of a mandate that I would say in terms of the design language for crossovers and SUVs these days is to sort of give it that sporty look. And I think these diffusers, they do a good job. Uh, you've also got these rear fog lights over here, uh, very well designed. They're slightly edgy and I kind of like that. And you've got obviously got your rear parking sensors and everything else. The wiper comes in over here, you've got a nice red diffuser and the shark fin antenna. Now the, the T5 R line does come with the power hydraulically open boot and it also has a lock and an unlock feature. So you can actually close the boot with the lock. Uh, sorry, you can actually press this button and it will lock the boot and sorry, it will close the boot and lock the car for you at the same time. A couple of interesting stuff that actually goes in over here. So let's take that to, to the walk and then we can see what makes the back of this Volvo XC40 so special. Now, if you're buying a car like the XC40, storage space is obviously something that you're very keen to understand. Volvo has a slightly higher loading loading angle over here, but I think that's that's, that's workable workable with. They've got these really they've got this really strong and sturdy carbonate at the back, uh, which goes up and down as you close and open the boot. One of the unique features that they do is it's got this double slit double split loading base so you can actually put some of your stuff to that side and some of your stuff to this side so your thing is not all over the boot when you're driving around and uh, it's very well built and you've also got the spare tire that sits under, underneath this and you've also got this thing over here which opens to give you more space in case you want to put something that's really long like skis and all of that stuff so you can open this up and that gives you more space uh, you've also got a couple of cargo hooks on that side you've also got a hook over here to put your carry bags and whatnot um, you've also got hooks over here so you've got like four set of hooks six set of hooks actually to sort of keep everything around uh, keep it organized There's one more or there are actually seven set of hooks that you can actually use to make sure that all your cargo stays in place here's something interesting that I found the key to the XC40 is delivered in a, in a case. Look at the build quality of that. You've got Volvo embossed over there. And when you open that up with one hand, there you go. Look at that. So your key actually comes in this case over here. Obviously you've got two, two keys, so both the keys go in over there. Really good thinking. The inside of the XC40 is a great place to be. You've got this very nice cockpit layout that gives you easy access to all the controls. The ergonomics are really well done. And I particularly like the vents over here. They look really well designed and they give it a very, very premium feel. This is your central console. You've got the beautiful MFT display over here. 
and you've got storage down here you've got all your media centers over here you've got a wireless charger over here which sort of fits in big phones that's my galaxy s8 it's sitting there comfortably and it's charging you've also got two usb outlets over here and a cigarette lighter this is the gear knob that i was telling you guys about it's a very short gear knob but uh, once you get used to it it's it's really good so to sort of there's no there are no buttons on this so to sort of to get it to drive is you've got to put your foot on the brake and just move it back and then now it's on drive and you just got to double tap it forward and it's on neutral and now this is neutral and to put it in park you have to press this button and that puts it in park you've also got your electronic parking brake that comes in over here and your auto hold start stop sorry your auto brake hold comes in over here got two big cup holders over here I really like this piano black finish as well um, I wasn't sure if this was going to be a fingerprint magnet but I think over the days it's, it's held pretty it's held up pretty well so not a lot of fingerprints that come along over here one of the good things that Volvo has done is there is sort of a trash bag if you might so this sits right ahead of the glove compartment and you can actually put your trash in here and this whole thing comes off and you can sort of go in and uh, crush that which I think is a, a very unique one of the first cars that I've seen on that has a dedicated trash bag if I might that I'm seeing for the first time is the rear child lock is actually electronically activated so if you press this once the rear child locks are activated and if you press it again it gets deactivated so in the in the other cars you have to go and manually sort of lock, lock and act, unlock them but here you can just do it over here um, you've got all your steering controls over here. Uh, the steering has a very good feel to it. The 10 and 12 positions are really nice. Uh, I think it's a leather wrapped steering wheel. So it's got a very good feel to it. And it is a power steering, uh, which is I believe electronic, electronic and not hydraulic. So it's very smooth and uh, very amazing to drive around city as well. You do get your pedal shifters and a very sturdy uh, buttons over here for the pedal shifters. Uh, I believe they're aluminum. And you've also got this finish over here. So over here, you've also got your R design logo that goes in over there and one of the interesting thing that Volvo has done is that on the left side let me do it for you they've created a card slot holder so you know your parking cards and whatnot you can actually take it and you can slot them in so they're like two card slot holders over here and there's another card slot holder down here so you can actually slot your cards and you don't have to keep throwing it around which I think is great thinking by Volvo here you've got your uh, dimmer switch for all your uh, lights across the car and that is your trunk release you've got that uh, a little confusing uh, driver uh, sorry a little confusing light knob over here uh, might take you a while to get used to because all of these different uh, it's, it's different from any other car out there and obviously you got to uh, get used to it I guess but uh, once so the fog light is turned on by just tapping on this your fog light comes on that's your tap on and tap off uh, but yeah so the best is obviously to leave it on auto and let the car do its thing and uh, you've got the same thing on the right side this is for your wiper controls so for the front wipers you've got to pull this forward for the rear wipers you've got to push it back the one thing that I noticed is that the wiper uh, flow mechanics is such that the water comes on from inside the wiper so as you can see there's no water that comes in from the from the hood but the system is embedded into the wiper itself so it's a great safety feature so as you can see as I'm wiping the wiping the window wiping the windshield the wiper water is actually coming in from within the wiper so that gives you better uh, visibility when during high circumstances so that's a great thing to have this is your center this is your center display so it's got it's really well laid out you've got uh, your it's it's completely digital and you've got all of your displays that come in over here uh, the ref counter takes the right hand side so you've got a very nice ref counter and uh, it sort of does this glowing effect as to where the rpm is so it sort of glows glows all around to tell you which rpm that you're doing uh, this is actually the speed limit so it reads the speed limit signs and it tells you what the speed limit is and it sort of highlights it over here which i think is a great feature when you're driving down unknown roads and you don't know of the speed limits so it'll let you tell so example now the speed limit is 60 and if you exceed 60 this will show up over here it'll start blinking so you don't have to keep looking at road signs and you don't have to think about what speed you're doing on because you've always got that cover this is sort of your information uh, panel at the back which gives you all the different details that you want in terms of what's going on with your cruise control what's going on with your child lock systems and what's going on with all the different variation stuff that you have going on in the car um, and then obviously you've also got uh, so you've got your outside temperature you've got your headlight settings your rear child locks and you've got your uh, 
the lane keep assist and your time and your RPM as well. Uh, one of the things that this also does is when you're navigating, the center screen comes up over here. And let me show you how that goes. So let's say we want to navigate to uh, wherever. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. So you see the GPS navigation sort of comes in over here. So you don't have to keep looking over here. You can have everything that goes in over here, which I think is a great feature. And uh, moving on to the more interesting bit, which is the center console. The center design is really well done. It's very easy to understand. Very, very big layout. So you can read through everything very, very, very clearly. You also got your like, car status messages. You've got your TPMS. You've got your service stuff, whatever that's going on over there. Then obviously you can click on this and get back to the main menu pull this up your navigation comes up so you can see where you want to navigate what you want to do go back in and then uh, you can swipe left and then you also have all of these features that come in over here so you've got your sport mode for the electronic stability you've got your lane keep assist on and off so it's very simple you just switch it off and then that's off tap it and it's back on again uh, and then you've got your blind spot assist your electronic start stop your cross traffic alert your camera positions so we'll come to the camera in just a bit uh, and then you've got your road size information. Now this is something funny that this is something funny that Volvo does is you've got this button over here which says wiper service position. When you tap on that, the wiper comes up and it stays here. I think the reason why they do that is in case you want to service the wiper blades or if you want to clean them, it gives you the option to do that. And then you also have your addition, your optional corning lights which you can switch on and off and then you scroll back in you've got your main interface scroll back in and then you've got all your media you've got your car messages your download sensors sorry your download center where you can download updates your driver performance how you've been driving what kind of a fuel economy you've been getting and all of that other stuff now the camera on this car is really good so you get a couple of options so let's start off with the 360 so this is obviously your default 360 that you get in any car and then you can press on these different camera buttons and it'll show you exactly how close to the left or to the right that you are so for example if you want to see in the front you can do this so that's a great view when you're off-roading especially and then if you want to go back in press 360 and then you press this shows you the rear view as you would you have the option of switching on and off the off on on and off the lines and then you've also got your uh, 360 that you can go back in again and then you can switch on and off the lines over here and um, it's a really great uh, te technology and i think that the camera quality of the image is really really nice really high resolution so that really helps when you're driving around and your temperature control obviously sits in over here so you've got you, you can set your temperature and it's really responsive so for example if you just want to go up and just do it so it's really responsive uh, it doesn't lag so that's a great great feature to have and obviously you can press on this auto and you can change your climate everything you can change your fan winds blowers but not everything can be done at the touch of a button one of the good things that Volvo has done is that your media controls are not independent. Sorry, your media controls are independent and they can be independent from the touchscreen. So in case you want to increase the volume or reduce the volume, you don't have to worry about something in the infotainment system over here, which I think is a great thing to do. A lot of manufacturers now are getting away from this knob, but we really, really need this volume knob. So thank you, Volvo, for keeping it there. Your song changed, tracks can go left and right over here. Very simple. You can obviously pause and stop the music from here as well. Very easy. That's great. Your hazard comes in over here and you've got your start stop button that gets in over there your drive mode selector is here it's not really the best place to put it but you've got it there so you've got your different drive mode selectors you've got your comfort you've got dynamic eco and your off-road those are the drive modes. up to the top you've got this rimless rear view mirror which really good which really looks nice and you've got these aircraft style passenger airbag on and off and this is your button for the panoramic sunroof and this is your switches for all the cabin interior lights and i really like the way that they've done it is it slowly taps on when you switch it on it's got leds and it slowly comes on this this button switches on the lights all across the car and obviously this will switch it back off and these are for the individual elements this you can leave it on auto so when you're in and out of the car it switches on and off for you really big sunroof as well so the xc40 is loaded with tech has a gorgeous interior and looks even better on the outside but how well does this car drive Let's find out. Your field of visibility obviously is uh, really nice considering that you're sitting a little high and uh, gives you a very good view, view all around. The mirrors do a great job. Even the blind spot assistance on the mirrors are really big so you can sort of uh, very clearly see them. You can very clearly see what's around you. 
getting in and out of tight tight spots is no big deal for this car because it's of, of its dimensions the steering feels really light uh, a little too light i'd say especially for uh, high speed driving but in the city i mean it's just a pleasure to drive around with very maneuverable and uh, you really feel that volkswagen has put in a lot of uh, attention to detail in terms of the driver ergonomics and how the car sounds as well given that it's a two liter turbo you can really really hear the turbo when you're driving down and this is something that i tried to demonstrate in the video earlier is the moment you go above 2000 or 2500 rpms you can really see you can really hear the turbo spool in and i think for an automobile enthusiast that's a great thing to do so it picks up some speed on these uh, back roads, no problem, very quickly. And uh, it's very agile, it gives you a very uh, planted feeling. You can see, I don't know if, if the camera is able to capture the turbo spool on this or not, but instant Prepare response. Prepare to turn right. Sorry. The navigation as well, it works really well. Cancel guidance, that's correct. Yeah, so like I said, the 10 and 12 positions, sorry, the 10 and 2 positions in the car is really good. Gives you a very good feel for the car and where it is. So let's do a bit of a run over here. So foot down all the way, you feel the turbo kicking in. You've got your speed there, no problem. It sounds really good, even the exhaust is, uh, it's stock obviously, and it doesn't sound like a sports car, but it's got a very good vibe to it. It's difficult to sort of describe it on the video, the way the car sounds and the way it behaves, but it's something that I think you really have to experience it in real life. Uh, visibility even while driving around is really good. You can see very clearly off the mirrors, there's no problem over there. You know, the rear view mirror is, uh, although it's rimless and looks a little bigger, it covers the, the, the back really well, so you don't have to worry about a blind spot as much. You don't have to worry about things at the back. And yeah, given the fact that, now one of the things that I sort of found uh, find to be a little annoying and uh, I don't know if I'm new to this technology or uh, it's, just, it's just the way that these cars are designed these days or call me old school, the steering sort of tends to pull you, you know, because it has this thing where it attempts to keep you in the lane. But sometimes it gets a little aggressive and you sort of have to fight with the car to sort of change lanes or even if you're indicating while changing your lanes, that does get a little uh, on the way. So I think when you're driving the car for the very first time, that's something that you need to sort of uh, keep into account. And uh, same thing happened with me as well. When I got the car and when I was driving down the Sheikh Zayed Road, I could feel the car pulling to different sides uh, when I'm just trying to change lanes. But uh, I think that's something that you sort of need to get used to so even now when I tried going off it sort of brings me back into the lane I mean it's a good feature to have but then you need to be able to uh, realize very quickly that the car is trying to get you back and it's not something that is wrong uh, with you uh, so I'm giving it a little more revs obviously for you to see if you can hear the exhaust and you can hear the turbo spool and the brakes are very good as well it stops in time absolutely and uh, one of the things that I really like about the car is how sturdy and well built it feels even on high speeds and driving around town obviously you have the sense of uh, that you're driving a very well built car. The pedal shifters are really good, um, they are aluminium and they are plastic at the back and rubber at the back to make sure that you have optimum grip at all times and uh, one of the things that also that is slightly strange and different I might is the gear knob so it's, it doesn't have any butter click button it doesn't have any buttons on it that you can click it just has the stick that you can just sort of push it forward and back and uh, you've got your park within again that's something once you get used to it you sort of get the hang of it that's not a problem the other cool thing that I really like is that the windscreen washer fluid is built inside the wiper system it's not on the hood like in a lot of other cars and the technology behind that is that when you need to clean your windshield when it's the most dirtiest when all of this water sprays on the on your field of vision you're distracted for a while and you can't really see ahead of you so what volvo has done is that it's embedded the windscreen washer into the wiper system so when you wipe the washer comes in from the wiper itself giving you more safety and a clear glass without obstructing your view of your vision really love giving it these uh, thumbs I really give I really love giving it this uh, cross down on the accelerator because it really has a good pull to it the seats as well are very well designed they fit you snug even on cor even on tight corners uh, this is Alcantara and um, you know it's got a very good feel to it again all the materials that Volvo has used looks very very premium uh, nice to touch it does miss out on a heads-up display which I think would be a great addition to this car but it does miss out on a heads-up display as well you've got your speaker system and I really love the design of these blower vents and the speakers the way Volvo has done all of this stuff it looks really good even during nighttime as well all of these things sort of light up and gives you a very vibrant uh, 
atmosphere to be driving in. Uh, it's not the systems inside, sorry, the, the, the dashboard lights inside, they don't light up. But uh, I mean, they don't light up in different colors. You can't change the colors of those, but they're just constant white. But I think that sort of adds to the sophistication of the car. You also got your sticks on the side for your wipers and indicators, obviously, just like any other car, that's not a problem and you can get used to it very quickly. Uh, apart from that, driving impressions, really good, really well-made car, really feels solid when you drive it. And the digital gauges as well, they're very well pronounced, they're very prominent and uh, you can really make out. And I think the best thing that I like in this car is obviously the way that it talks about the speed limit, that's the road that you're on and it sort of makes a, makes a red little notch on the speed that you're supposed to be and so that you know exactly what speed limit that you're on where you can go the uh, other sides of the boundaries as well so that's a great little touch uh, it's a full digital display gauge obviously as I mentioned before but um, the display is really good and you can see really feel the pull when you put the foot down so I think that's a great I mean it's a perfect daily driver you love driving this thing around around town pulls really well and um, yeah this car however is running on the Pirelli P zeros I'm not exactly sure why that would be the tire of choice for an uh, urban SUV considering that you might sometimes want to off-road it but uh, it is running on Pirelli P0 so the ride quality is a little on the firmer side but you know it's not something that you can't deal with. Corners really well, I'm going to show you that it also has to do with the tires and the way that the car is built. So we're coming into a corner, takes it really well. Uh, in the corners it feels more like a hatchback actually, it performs so well that uh, Obviously the tires have something to, to do with that, but it's a great tire to have on this. If you're driving on the road, the tires are good, the cars are great. Uh, it does come with an off-road mode as well, but I would be scared of taking this car off-road with the Pirelli P-Zeros. I'd probably change the tires if I'm trying to go off-roading. And it'll do fine in the dunes and the sands, that's not a problem. But for a little more serious off-roading, I think you might need to change the tires for that. I love, love, love the way that the turbo pulls in this car and the sounds that it makes, it's just, it's amazing. It's just a 2 liter turbo engine, but the pull that it generates with its small little engine and the turbo sounds that it creates is just too, I mean, it's just an experience. It puts a smile on your face every time you drive this car with over 3,000 RPMs. It's got a bit of a backfire as well, so very well uh, created engine on that one. So yeah, so that's about the internal impression, the interior impressions of the car. And uh, you also got a lot of unique stuff apart from that, which has also been mentioned is your car holders and all of that stuff, which is unique. And when you start drive, driving this car on a daily basis, you start appreciating things like the car holder that Volvo has given. It's these small things, you know, the trash bag and all of that stuff, which really uh, gives you a sense of how much Volvo has really put their minds behind creating this car. So once again, thank you so much for joining me for this uh, car review. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. So remember the th feature that I was telling you about where the steering sort of grabs you into your lane? I'm trying to demonstrate it to you over here. I'm trying to purposefully deviate from, from the lane that I am. And you can see that the steering sort of tries to take control. See what it does? It moves and it sort of brings you back into the lane. It might not feel like it's a lot, but when you're driving, you sometimes feel like you have to fight the steering. So watch it again, it's gonna change the lane. We are on a curve and the steering changes automatically direction to make sure that you're still on the curve. Now we're drifting a little to the left, it's gonna correct itself and bring you back into the lane. This is the feature that I was talking to you about, but sometimes you do have to fight it back.